Hello, Greg. Hello, Jessica. How are you this morning? I'm well. How are you? I am doing good. Thank you for joining us this morning on Film Fiend. Uh, we're going to talk about your movie coming out, Lawless. Mm -hmm. It's based on a true story of the Prohibition era, and it's it's got an amazing cast of characters in it. Um, was there something other than just the story itself that, that drew you to this project? Yes. I'm, the story is phenomenal, but also I was drawn to working with John Hillcoat, the director, who's incredible. He made one of the, my favorite westerns. It's called The Proposition, uh, and he's very good at, you know, these these stories with this, these like men he's very good at that uh, and this throwback to almost like John Ford he's uh, films he's wonderful and then also the cast I was really excited to work with Tom Hardy who I'd seen in Bronson he's a great actor Gary Oldman Shia LaBeouf Jason Clark Mia Wasikowska Guy Pearce the cast is one of the best I've ever worked with. It's phenomenal. It's based on the book, The the Wettest County in the World, I think it's called. And then I was looking at pictures and I've seen the trailers and everything. And and um, Guy Pierce, the only thing that, that kind of threw me off was like, he has no eyebrows in the, in this, in this I, film. I mean, when, when you look, it's like. It's scary. He is one of the scariest villains I have ever seen. And I'll tell you, he's he couldn't be more different in real life because Guy Pierce in, you know, every day to day, the most lovely gentleman. But sitting next to him in that makeup trailer, watching them shave his eyebrows and part his hair in, you know, in that way. And like, he and his accent and the way he is with his clips, he is terrifying. Uh, and he's a great nemesis for the Bondurant brothers. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a great film. It's very exciting, the, the whole dynamic between um, the Moonshiners and the law. You were in The Help, which was an amazing movie. Um, now you've, you've been in, in Lawless and you've got Zero Dark Thirty coming out. These are like all three different time periods. Is there, is there a time period that you like more or is it just who you're surrounded with and the storyline that you're going at? Yeah, it's, I don't necessarily think of a time period that I like more, although I love clothes and so I love costumes, especially like costumes of the 60s. And I do love costumes of the 30s. Uh, but for me, it's usually the woman that I get to play. Uh, you know, what is it about her? How does she change throughout the film? And um, is it something I've never done before? That's usually what I'm drawn to. Now, when you're not on a set and you've got time, you know, to, uh, to, take, a, to take a break, there's a question we like to, to ask everybody. You know, when you're just out <laughs> relaxing, you know, um, is there a movie that if you're you're passing by on, on on the television or something, is there a movie that you could just watch over and over? Yes. I have two. Can I give you two? You can give me as many as you want. Okay. The ones that, like, just a guilty pleasure if I'm packing or whatever, it's on TV, I will always stop at. The Three Amigos and What About Bob? Two wonderful movies. And very funny and, uh, you know, some of the best performances, Bill Murray and What About Bob, it's just hysterical. And then The Three Amigos, like with Steve Martin, Chevy Chase, and Martin Short, it's comic genius. Yeah, you, you really can't go wrong with Three Amigos. I, I love yeah. watching that movie. Jessica, <laughs> uh, we, we thank you so much for joining us this morning on Film Fiend. We wish you continued success in everything you do. Thank you very much. Have a good day.